Hey guys, Daniel here with Value Investing with Daniel. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why the PEG ratio is not that important when it comes to evaluating investments. So the PEG ratio, P-E-G, PEG ratio is the P-E divided by the growth rate. So the price to earnings divided by the growth rate. So let's take a company that has a P-E ratio of 10 and a growth rate of 5 its peg ratio would be 2. Generally speaking, investors are looking for peg ratios of less than 0.5. An example of that would be, so again, we take our P ratio divided by our growth rate. This is our peg ratio. Um, an investor would look for something like, let's say, a PE of 6 and a growth rate of 12. Well, in this case, the growth rate is twice the P ratio. This is a 0 0.5 peg ratio. And investors are looking for cases, uh, who, investors who use the PEG ratio are looking for instances where the PEG ratio is less than 1, oftentimes less than 0.5. But there's a problem with this. The problem with this ratio is that it doesn't take into consideration the effect of compounding. Let me give you an example. I have my Excel spreadsheet here and it looks a little bit confusing at first, but what I'm trying to show to you on this spreadsheet is the fact that you can have P ratios that are lower than a, a slow growth rate and still not have a very good investment. And you can have P ratios that are higher than your growth rate and have a great investment. What do I mean? Well, let's take a company drawing at 5% per year. It has a starting earnings per share of one. And if we calculate its future, uh, future uh, price, basically, we take the one, we grow it at a, uh, at a rate of 5% per year, and then we apply a, uh, a multiple at the end of, of, um, of five, we get a future price of $8.14 per share. This means that in order for the company to be a five bagger, meaning in order to give us, let's say, an 18 or 19 percent return or greater, which is what a five bagger is, the starting price has to be a dollar and 62 cents per share, meaning the starting PE ratio can be a maximum of 1.6. However, if we have a company that's growing at 20% per year and its starting earnings per share is 1, the future price, we're going to grow this earnings per share out at 20% per year and times it by a multiple that's equal to its growth rate. So we're going to grow 1 at 20% per year and then times that by 20, we get a future price of $123.84 per share. Meaning, if we divide that by five, so we're looking for five baggers and up, our starting price would be $25. And that would give us a max starting PE of 25. So what this means is that we can have companies that are growing at 20% per year. We can buy them initially at a PE of up to 25 and still have a five bagger. But for companies that are growing at 5% per year, we need the max PE to be 1.6, which is significantly lower than the growth rate. My point is, is that you can buy companies at PE ratios that are higher than their growth rates and still make a lot of money, provided that the growth rate is sufficiently high. But for a company that's growing slowly, its PE ratio has to be way below its growth rate for you to basically make any money on it because, because of the effect of compounding. So the point of this video is that the PEG ratio is not a very good indicator. You know, uh, uh, if you take a P ratio of 25 and have a growth rate of 20, that's a significantly better investment, even though the P ratio is, is higher than, than looking at a company that's going at 5% per year with a P ratio of, of, of three or even four or two. So keep that in mind, the PEG ratio, it's that, I don't think it's that good of a, you know, of a metric of anything because it completely depends on the rate of the growth. A compounding, a higher compounding rate of growth is significantly better than a lower compounding rate of growth, even if the P ratio as a proportion is lower. So keep that in mind, ignore the PEG ratio, look at the growth rate and look how it compares to the multiple that you're paying and that'll give you a better sense of if the company is fairly valued. Thanks for tuning in.